Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Come Dine With Us. Myself, Kate McCabe and Luke Catlow, my good friends and YouTube buddies, are back to bring you another social distancing dinner party while we're all in lockdown. So this week it is throwback week, we're going to be going back in time, it's going to be very nostalgic, we're going to be cooking up some childhood favourites. I'll be taking you back to the 90s for our main course, but let's find out what we're having for our starters with Luke. Hello everybody, my name is Luke and I'm in charge of the starter this week, which is going to be a throwback to one of my favourites as a child. It's going to be a cheesy mozzarella garlic bread and I'm bringing it back into the 2020 years with some homemade hummus and some harissa. So it's going to be like a garlic bread hummus thing. And then for the main course, I thought I would attempt something that I never actually had as a child because well, I never went there as a child, but I'm going to be attempting to do IKEA's iconic meatballs. So they've recently released the recipe, so you can have a go at making them at home. So I thought that is what we would attempt tonight. I feel like they're a dish that many of us know and love, so I thought it'd be a good one for us to do for throwback week. And I'll be taking you back to the 90s for our main course. And then we'll be heading over to Kate's for dessert. Let's find out what she's making. Hello, I'm Kate and I'm making pudding tonight. I'm doing a throwback to kind of my childhood and biscuits that I used to like to eat and I still like to eat them a lot now. It's called Custard Cream Blondies. That's what I'm making and I'm going to be serving them with a lovely pot of tea. So if you clicked on this video first, make sure you head over to Luke's channel for your starter first of all. I'll link it down in the description box down below. And then come back here for your main course with me. And then when you finish your mains with me, you'll be heading over to Kate's channel for dessert. And that'll be linked in the description box as well. And if you've popped over from Luke or Kate's channels, it is great to see you here too. Right, shall we get cracking? I think we should. Happy Friday everybody, by the way. I'm a little bit nervous about doing this recipe. It looks kind of complicated, but I've got all the ingredients, so let's see what we need. So first of all, I've got some potatoes here, which I picked up from Lidl along with some garden peas that I thought would be really nice to serve the meatballs with. But for the meatballs themselves, you will need 500 grams of minced beef and 250 grams of pork mince. I've actually gone for combined beef and pork mince, and I have 750 grams here, which is perfect. You'll need one onion, a clove of garlic, 100 grams of breadcrumbs. You'll need some milk, salt and pepper, and an egg. And I've just realized that I don't have any eggs, so I'll have to figure out what to do for that. And then for the sauce, you need a dash of oil, you need 40 grams of butter, 150 ml of vegetable stock, which I didn't have, so I've gone for chicken. You need 150 ml of beef stock, 150 ml of thick double cream, which is in the fridge, and two teaspoons of soy sauce and a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and 40 grams of plain flour. Right, what are we gonna do about this egg? I know a man who might be able to help us. Hello. Hello, Uncle Carrington. I'm trying to do a recipe that needs an egg and I don't have any. Do you know what I could do to get one? Well, I could always dig the cupboard, sail he knows for the town, he knows about the put some eggs, but it might take a while. Yeah. Why don't you ring your mate Luke? He's always baking, he'll know what to do. Oh, that's a good idea. Thank you, Carrington. Bye, right, boy, boy, boy. Bye, Luke. Carrington. Right, let's give Luke a quick bell. Oh, hang on a minute, my phone's ringing. Hello. Hello, mate. I'm just phoning. It's a bit of a random one, but I was just wondering if you might have an egg that you could spare me. An egg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got one spare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll grab one for you. Yeah, two seconds. Oh, perfect. Yeah, no worries. I'll throw it for you. Yeah, you ready? Catch. Yes. Yeah, you got it. Thank you, mate. So I'm going to start off by finely chopping my onion. And I'm attempting a technique that I saw Luke do, but I can't remember exactly how to do it. I think it was something along the lines of this. I could be getting this completely wrong. <laughs> I think. How do you do it? Chop it in half? No, which way? It basically involved chopping into it before you chop it, if that makes sense. So then it makes finer pieces. Feels like time is going faster than it seems. We were just two kids who were trying to live the teenage dream. And we want a clove of garlic. And it says crushed or minced, so I'm just going to smash it and then chop it finely. So 
So what I'm going to do is put the mints into a bowl and if it's separate mints that you have then you need to work at that to combine the two and I'm just going to get the knife on it just to break up any large strands of it. Then we are going to add our chopped onion and garlic, our breadcrumbs and our egg. Five tablespoons of milk, pepper and salt. And I have washed my hands of course before handling any food this evening and we'll continue to wash them throughout the process of cooking. You taught me how to love and nothing could be better than you and me, you and me, baby it was you and me. And then when that's all combined you want to make some small round balls and pop them onto a plate. going to pop these into the fridge for two hours, let them chillax so they can be nice and firm and retain their shape while they're cooking. Okay, so while that is in the fridge, I'm going to crack on and peel some potatoes because I feel like you can't have meatballs without mashed potato. Tell you what, this takes me back to the 90s, working in the pub, peeling these all day on a Sunday morning. Step four. Mm. <laughs> and then we used to get the tea towels <laughs> and do this and whip each other. Literally, I spent my Sunday mornings as a teenager. Okay, so add some boiling water to the potatoes. Right, so they're sorted. Next we're gonna put the pan on and I'm gonna go in with a splash of oil on a medium heat and then we are going to add the meatballs to gently brown them on all sides. I hope they're all gonna fit. <laughs> it does make quite a lot. It says it serves for this recipe. So once these have browned off, you just want to transfer them into an oven-proof dish. You came to me so warm and, and then cover them over and place them in a hot oven at 180 degrees for 30 minutes. Just see how the potatoes are doing. I don't like multitasking. No, but they're solid as bricks still. <laughs> as you were, potatoes. Okay, so I've set my timer for 30 minutes. The sauce should only take about five minutes. So I'm just gonna leave that to do its thing in the oven. The potatoes are boiling away. So now it is time for us to go back to the 90s. I haven't really thought through what to do for this, so I'm gonna need a little bit of inspiration. So yeah, I have to have a think about what to do. Ooh. 50p. Now that takes me back. Who remembers when 50p could buy you quite a lot? I mean, it can still buy you quite a bit down the car boot sale, can't it? But I remember when you get loads of stuff with these. You'd definitely be able to get a can of lilt from the vending machine with one of these. Oh, I feel a little bit, a little bit odd. I haven't even had a drink. I remember this watch. You have to bunk it off the eight tomorrow.
Hold on, this is when I'm here to lie. Hello? Hello, lad, it's your good guy routine. Hello, I'm good guy routine. You want a good plan for your toy? What you having? Oh, we've been to Ikea. Anyway, I'll pop that away for the car boot sale. So now the meatballs have had 30 minutes in the oven, so let's see how they're looking. Ooh, yum. Fab, so they're looking great. So I'm gonna pop those to one side. They should stay nice and warm. So now I've added 40 grams of butter into the pan, and I'm gonna make up some beef and chicken stock. It's meant to be beef and vegetable. You only need to use 150 ml of the beef, 150 ml of the chicken, sorry, of the vegetable stock. But I'm just gonna combine the two and then I'll add 300 ml. And any left over, I'm gonna make some gravy. I've put the onions from the pan to one side, so I'll add those to it. Now that this is melted, we can add 40 grams of plain flour and give that a little whisk around. That might've been too much flour. <laughs> My scales aren't very accurate. We won't panic. I have to try and make this not go lumpy. Wish me luck. Ah! Just trying to knock all the lumps out of it with a metal whisk. When in doubt. Anyway, you want to add 150 ml of, dub ah! of double cream, which is half a pot. A teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Two teaspoons of soy sauce. And then that's going to thicken up really nicely and then we can just mash our potatoes. You can do this with a potato masher but I like to do it with a fork. I'm going to add a splash of cream into the mash and a generous slab of butter. Okay, I think I am nearly done. The sauce is done, the mash is done, the meatballs are done, and I've just popped those peas into the microwave for two minutes. So we're ready to plate up and enjoy our IKEA meatballs. Time for us to dig in for our 90s main course. Thank you for coming back in time with me. I have got you a little drop of Sauve if you fancy it. I'm not sure if this is a 90s wine, but I feel like the glass is a bit of a throwback, so we'll go with that. Just a small one with our meal. I might be underage, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure I should be drinking. Cheers, anyway. Happy Friday, everybody, and happy 1990s. Right, let's try our IKEA meatballs. So I'm going to go with some mashed potato first of all and a few peas. The peas taste very old school. They kind of remind me of school dinners. Not mad about it. On to the meatballs. The moment we've all been waiting for. I've just cut one in half. The texture seems quite nice. They're nice and firm and they don't look too greasy or fatty. Mmm. Those are very very nice. I feel like I'd probably be tempted to add a little bit more mustard and maybe a bit more soy sauce into the sauce just to give it a bit more of a kick. Maybe even a dash of English mustard would be quite nice in with that. And I did make up some gravy actually, so I might just sling a little bit of that on. Oh, now we're talking. Gravy and mashed potato, what are you saying? On a naughty little meatball? The onions in there are really nice. I should have chopped them a bit smaller I think but they do taste delicious. This is such a comfort food sort of dinner. It would be a nice one to make this weekend if it's still raining, really cozy. I definitely recommend you do it with gravy as well. I'm just trying to think if there would be a vegetarian alternative. I guess you could try to make this with some corn mints perhaps. It feels like a proper after school kind of dinner. I hope you enjoyed your main course with me. I hope you enjoyed this little throwback to the 90s. What I would love to know in the comments this evening is all of your memories from the 90s. So let me know who your favourite pop star was, what you love to watch on TV, and any memories that you have from the 90s. Are you a fan of IKEA meatballs? And let me know 
if you will be trying this recipe yourself as well. And of course, if you do, do feel free to tag me in your pictures over on the World Wide Web. I am at www.instagram.com forward slash M-I-S-T-E-R Carrington. And there you can find pictures and web stuff and I will answer any comments if you leave me some. So that's it, now it's time for you to head back in time but over to Kate McCabe's where you'll be having dessert with her. And just in case you haven't already had your starter with Luke, that is linked in the description box as well. So thank you so much for surfing the interweb with me today and traveling back in time with me. I've really enjoyed your company. I'm gonna carry on with my dinner and having my little tipple. Cheers everybody, happy Friday. Do subscribe if you're new here, give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video back in 2020.